Hello class, my name is Thompson. I'm a trainer at Louvavu Technical Corrective-It, and today we are going to learn together how to repair a synthetizer. In today's topic, we are going to see how to prepare a synthetizer repair. At the end of this session, each runner will be able to select and arrange different tools, materials, and equipment required for repairing a synthetizer. As we are learning together, I invite you to take some note and do a practical exercise with me as we are learning together. Firstly, you may ask yourself, what is a synthetizer? A synthetizer is an electronic musical instrument that generates audio sound. All synthesizers have a few basic components that work together to forge a sound. An oscillator that generates the waveform and its pitch. A filter that carves out certain frequencies in the wave to change the timbre. An amplifier that controls the signal volume and the moderation to create effect. And now, on, as we already know, what is a synthesizer? Firstly, when you want to prepare the workplace as a professional technician, you have to prepare the personal protective equipment, PPE, which are made to protect you against any hazard while you are doing any kind of repairing, such as gloves, helmet, overall, noise mask, googles, and so on. We are going to see tools, materials, and equipment required for repairing a synthesizer. As you can see at your screen, there is a universal screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, iron key, which are all those three are used to do assembling and disassembling of our synthesizer. And this one is a screwdriving machine also, a universal prior, a cutting prior, stripping prior, a blower, a soldering iron, a soldering pump, a digital multimeter, as you already know that it's a measurement instrument, a cleaning brush, there is a soldering station, a magnifying glass, and gun grew sticks. When we finish to select tools, materials, and equipment required for repairing a synthesizer, what next? We are going to see the main part of a synthesizer. As you can see, we start by external part. This one is called a cover. It's used to protect the internal component of this synthesizer. There is an audio and video inlet and outlet system, such as a USB driver, there is a quarizer, there is a power inlet jack, there is a power signal and protection indicator, this one is an input jack, there is a foot pedal, there is a disc player, moderation bar, a phone jack, this is a keyboard, many boards, common boards. As you can see, this one is a power adapter, an outlet terminals, a volume knob, a power switch, and so on. As you already finished to see the external part of our synthesizer, and now we are going to see the internal part of our synthesizer. Firstly, you have to remind yourself about assembling and disassembling. Assembling, as we already know, is to fix together separated pieces in order to form one wall. While disassembling is to separate or to break down one device into many pieces. And now, as we want to see the internal part of our synthesizer, by the use of our universal screwdriver, we are going to unscrew or to open the cover in order to reach the internal part of our synthesizer. As you can see, we start by here. This one is called a filter. It's used to remove all unwanted signal occur in this circuit of our synthesizer. There is a regulator. There is a speaker.
There is a cooling system. This one is called an amplifier. And the finery, this one is a display boards. As you already finished to see the internal part and external part of our synthesizer, and also we have seen together how to do assembling and disassembling a synthesizer. There is some tips you may follow up why we are going to do assembling and disassembling a synthesizer. Firstly, I remind you to check the manufacturer instruction to read everything about that synthesizer in order to do it professionally. And also, after you finish to do assembling your synthesizer, now only what you have to do is to do arrangement of tools, materials, and equipment required for repairing a synthesizer. As you can see, we separate the materials, keeping safe press with wastage or throw bin, as you can see at your own screen. Thank you for your attention. In our next session, we will see how to repair a synthesizer power adapter. As we are learning together, I hope you took some note and you did a practical exercise with me. Enjoy. <laughs>